Ibn Khaldun was born on May 27, 1332 in Tunis and died on March 17, 1406. He is the greatest Arab historian who developed one of the earliest non-religious philosophy of history contained in his masterpiece, the Muqaddimah. He also wrote a definitive history of Muslim North Africa, Ibn Khaldun background in early life. Ibn Khaldun was born in Tunis in 1332. The Khaldunia quarter in the Tunis still stand almost unchanged in it, the house where he is believed to have been born. As Ibn Khaldun related in his autobiography, the family claimed descent from Khaldun, who was of South Arabian stock and had come to Spain in the early year of the Arab conquest and settled in Carmona. The family subsequently moved to Sevilla Flair and imported important part in the several wars of the 9th century and he was long reckoned among the three courts of the next four centuries. The Ibn Khaldun successively held high administrative and political force under the Umayyad, al murabid and al muhad dynasties. Other members of the family served in the army and several were killed at the Battle of Al-Zulaqa, which temporarily halted the Christian reconquest of Spain, but the respite thus wound proved short and in 1248, just before the fall of Sevilla and many of their countrymen, judge it prudent to cross the street of Gibraltar and landed at Sabta, a Spanish exclave on the northern coast of Morocco. There the refugees from Spain were up a much higher level of socio-economic status than the local nor North Africans, and the family was soon called to occupy the leading administrative post in Tunis. The historian father also became an administrator and soldier, but soon abandoned his, his career to devote himself to the study of theology, law, and letters. Education and Diplomatic Career of Ibn Khaldun Ibn Khaldun gives a detailed account of his education listing the main books he read and describing the life and works of his teacher. He memorized the Quran, study its principal commentaries, gained a good grounded in Muslim law, memorized himself with the masterpiece of Arabic literature, and acquired a clear and forceful style and a capacity for writing fluent words that was to serve him well in later life when raising a logistic and supplicatory point to various rulers. The Muqaddima Ibn al-Khaddim philosophy of history. In 1375, craving solitude from the exhausting business of politics, Ibn al-Khaddim took the most momentous trip of his life. He sought refuge with the tribe of Aulad Ari, who lodged him and his family in the safety of a castle Khalat ibn Salama, near what is now the town of Frenda, Algeria. There he spent four years free from all free occupation and wrote his massive masterpiece, the Muqaddimah, an introduction to history. Ibn Khaldun journeyed to Egypt. During his stay in Khalat ibn Salama, Ibn Khaldun not only completed his first draft of the Muqaddimah, but he also wrote part of his massive history, Kitab al Ibar, a work that is not of such universal significance, but which does constitute the best single source on the history of Muslim North Africa. Such a task, however, requires frequent reference to other books and archives. This together perhaps with nostalgia for the more active world of politics drew him back to city life. Rescue by Timur in 14, Timur and his victorious forces invaded Syria, and the new Sultan of Egypt, Biraj, went out to meet them, taking Ibn Khaddum and other notables with him. Shortly thereafter, the Mamluk army returned to Egypt, leaving Ibn Khaddum in besieged Damascus. The situation soon becoming hopeless, the civilian notables of the city started negotiation with Timur, during the course of which he asked to meet Ibn Khaddun. The letter was thereupon lowered over the city wall by roofs and spent some seven weeks in the enemy camp.